Welcome back, friends. This is lesson three. We're going to talk about ways we can find area and perimeter without just counting um, either the length for perimeter or the inside of squares, okay? So before you get started, again, I would like you to rate yourself on our learning goal. Where are you at? Are you a four, a three, a two, or a one? All right, and just like you did in the previous lessons, at the beginning, next to lesson three, I want you to put your rating and I want you to circle it. All right, so I know where you are at the beginning of the lesson. So here's the learning goal again, if you need to see it. Go ahead and rate yourself, and let's get started. So yesterday when I talked to you about area and perimeter, I was talking about square units and counting the edges, right? So here, if you counted across the top, you'd have one, two, three, four units across the top, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, units across the side, right? And if you counted across the top and across the bottom, you would get four plus four units. And then if you did across the side, you get seven plus seven units, right? So your perimeter would be four and four is eight. Seven and seven is 14. Eight plus 14 is 22 units. And that would be the perimeter is equal to 22 units. And then if you counted the inside, if I, I spent the time counting, I get 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, right? So the area is equal to 28. And remember, I'm counting squares, so area is in square units because it's the number of squares that cover the surface, okay? So here, we are right, the, the perimeter is 22 units and the area is 28 square units, just like we found. All right, here's another example. So across the top, I have one, two, three, four units. Across the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. And we have the same result. Perimeter is equal to 22 units, area is equal to 28 square units. So here are the formulas for finding perimeter. Go ahead and write this down. If you need to pause the video, do it. Um, and I'm going to explain them. So go ahead and pause. All right, welcome back. So let's talk about what these mean. So perimeter, or P for this first, is equal to the length plus the width plus the length plus the width of a shape. And if you added all of those together, this is the formula you would have, all right? The other way of looking at this is perimeter is equal to 2L times 2W, which really means that perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. All right, and if you add those together, you would get the perimeter, which makes sense because you have one, two L's right here, and one, two W's right there, okay? The last way we can look at this is perimeter is equal to two times the length plus the width, all right? Perimeter is equal to two times length plus width which means that perimeter is the same as adding the length and the width together and multiplying that by two. So now let's talk about um, how we can find a missing side. So I know the perimeter is 26 units, okay? This side is equal to five units, right? Because we have one width is five units, so therefore the other width is five units. And if the bottom's x units, the top is x units as well, because this is a regular shape. All the sides are the same length. So if I put five units and five units together, I have 10 units. Now, if I subtract the total perimeter, which is 26 units, if I subtract that, I see that I have, sorry, zero minus six is six, and one from two is one, I have 16 units. And that will go for both the top and the bottom. 
Okay, so remember our formula P is equal to L plus W plus L plus W. Well, I already know that P, which is my perimeter, I'll write in a different color, is 26, and that's equal to 5 plus something plus 5. Now I just need to fill in these blanks. So what two numbers can I put here that would give me a total of 26 in my perimeter? And I know those two numbers add together to get 16. Well, if I divide 16 in half, because I know I have two spots, I get 8. All right? So 8 and 8 would go here. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 8 plus 8 is 16. 26 is my total perimeter. Okay? So the value of x is 8 units. All right? So here's a formula for area. Area is equal to length times width. So area, length, width. This should sound familiar because this is like the area model in multiplication. So here I want to know what is the width, what is the perimeter? Well, I know that area is equal to length times width. My area is the thing on the inside, right, the amount on the inside, and it's written in square units. So I have 50 is equal to 10 times W, all right? And that should be really easy math for you. So the width is what times 10 is equal to 50? That would be 5. So the width is 5 centimeters. Okay, because we're measuring in square centimeters, so the width has to be centimeters. Now I need to find the perimeter. Well, perimeter, one of the formulas is perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus the width. So let's use that one. Perimeter is equal to 2 times my length is 10 centimeters. My width is 5 centimeters. Now remember, we do it's in parentheses first. So 10 plus 5 is 15, then I multiply that times 2, so I get 30. So the perimeter is equal to 30 centimeters. All right? So down here, 30 centimeters. Next one. So what is the width here? Remember, area is equal to length times width. I have the area, so the area is 32 square M stands for meters, is equal to, I have the length, so 8 meters times W. I do not have the width. This should look like equations and expressions, right? 32 is equal to 8 times W. So what times 8 is 32? Well, 8 times 4 is 32. So my width W is equal to thir is equal to four meters because eight times four is thirty-two. Now, what is the perimeter? Let's use a different perimeter formula. Um, let's use the one where it was perimeter is equal to two L plus two W. All right, so perimeter is equal to two times eight plus. 2 times 4, right, because my width was 4. So 2 times 8 is 16, plus 2 times 4 is 8. 16 and 8 is equal to 24. So the perimeter is P is equal to 24 meters, all right? Let's try another one. What is the length, what is the perimeter for this shape? So here, I know that area is equal to length times width. I do not have the length, but I have the width and I have the area. Area is 63 square centimeters. My length, I don't know, that's my variable, times 7 is the width. So what times 7 is 63? Well, 63 is equal to 9 times 7. Therefore, my length, L, is equal to 9. 
what is the perimeter? Let's use this formula for perimeter. Perimeter is equal to L plus W plus L plus W. All right, so my lengths are the same because it's a regular shape. So I have nine. My widths are the same because I have a regular shape. So nine plus seven plus nine plus seven. Um, nine and seven is 16. Nine more is 35 plus seven is 42. So perimeter is equal to 42 centimeters. Let me do that again in my head. So nine plus nine, 18, seven and seven, 14, 14 and 18. Add those together. Yeah, it should be 32. I was going to say, so perimeter is equal to 32 centimeters. All right, sorry about that, guys. So here we're going to find the area and perimeter of both of these shapes. So if I were to count the units here, I'm going to use a different color than black, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. And I know the top is seven units as well because it's a regular shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. And I know this is nine units. All right. And um, area, area is equal to length times width. So area is equal to nine times seven. Therefore, area is equal to, I'll write on a different line, Area is equal to 7 times 9 is 63. Remember, it's the inside, so it's square, SQ, units. And perimeter. So perimeter, um, I'm going to use the formula 2L plus 2W. My L here is 7, so 2 times 7 plus... 2 times 9. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 2 times 9 is 18. We just did that. That is 32 units. Now let's do shape B. So across the side I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units. And this is a regular shape so I know the lengths are the same. Width 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units six units. So area is equal to length times width. Area is equal to six, sorry my length is nine. So nine times six. Nine times six is 54. Since I'm doing area I have to do square units. Perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. So my length is 9, so 2 times 9 plus 2 times 6. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 2 times 6 is 12. Altogether, that's equal to 30 units for the perimeter. All right, so finding the area and perimeter here. Area is equal to length times width, right guys? So my length is 6, my width is 5, so together I have 30, my unit is centimeters, so 30 square centimeters is my area, all right? Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W, all right? My L is 6, so 2 times 6 plus 2 times 5. Remember when a letter is next to a number, it means to multiply, right? So 2 times 6 is 12, plus 2 times 5 is 10. Together, that is equal to 22 centimeters. So perimeter is 22 centimeters. All right, here's another one. Find the area and perimeter. I want you to actually try this one on your own. Go ahead and do that now. All right, so I know the area is equal to 3 times 8. That's equal to 24 square centimeters. 
and the perimeter. 3 plus 3 is 6, 8 plus 8 is 16, so 6 plus 16 is equal to 22 centimeters. All right. Now, let's find an unknown side length. So I know that area is equal to length times width, right? I have the area, so I have 80 is equal to 8 times W. And I need to find the W. So what times 8 is equal to 80? Well, 80 is equal to 8 times 10. Therefore, X is equal to 10. Find an unknown side length. So what's the value of X? Well, my perimeter is 120. This is a regular shape, so I know that this is 20 centimeters as well. And then on this side is X centimeters. So I know that my perimeter, which is 120, is equal to 20 plus 20 plus x plus x, right? So 120 is equal to 40 plus x plus x, right? Okay, so let's first subtract this 40. Okay, so let's minus 40 on both sides. And I get 80 is the same as x plus x, right? And there are two x's here. And I know that this is a regular shape. So if I were to divide 80 in half, because I have two x's, so 80 divided by 2, how many 2's are in 8? 4. Multiply, subtract, bring down. How many 2's are in 0? 0, 0, 0. So 40. So that makes sense. 40 and 40. So 20 plus 20 plus 40 plus 40 is 120. So the value of x is 40 centimeters. All right, and here find the length and the width. I know the perimeter is equal to 20, and I know that my area is 24. So I need to think, what two numbers can I multiply to get to 24? Those are factors. So the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. But even more important, 1 times 24 is equal to 24. Now I already know this can't be it because a length would already be 24. So that cannot work. 2 times 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Now let's see if the perimeter is 20. So 2 plus 2 plus 12 plus 12. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 12 is 16, plus 12 is uh, already over 20. So it cannot be 2 times 12. What about 3 times 8? That's equal to 24. So let's see if the perimeter works. 3 plus 3 plus 8 plus 8. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 8 is 14, plus 8 is equal to, let's see, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 8 is 14, plus 8, oh, 22, not going to work. All right, let's try 4 and 6. 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Let's see if the perimeter would be 20. 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6. 4 and 4 is 8, plus 6 is equal to 14, plus 6 is... There it is, 20. So the length has to be 6 and the centimeters, and the width has to be 4 centimeters if my perimeter is to be 20 and my area is 24. Now it's your turn. Here are your homework questions. So pause as you need. Find the area and perimeter of shape A and B. Find the area and perimeter of this shape. Find X. Find X again. And finally, please tell me what the length and the width are if the area is 32 and the perimeter is 24. Once you're all done with that, please go back to the learning goal. I'm going to get you there. And I would like you to re-rate yourself. Are you a 4, a 3, a 2, or a 1? And after you've done that, write your rating inside of a triangle. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you later.